title of the discussion itself invokes a debate, can art actually imitate life? Isn't art inspired by life? Life, a treasured gift from the almighty creator, can never be imitated. It can only provide the canvas for a dramatic interplay of human emotions. Art, one of the most visible and sensory forms of creativity with artists like Da Vinci Rembra and Michelangelo being inspired and stimulated by the perfect human form, human pathos and poignancy. The impressionist work of Monet Surer, serene lifescapes created through a calculated casualness of sketchy, barely, three, barely their forms, and the emphasis of the effects of light, all inspired by the over-evolving natural landscape modern life. For my part, I know nothing with any certainty, but the sight of the stars make me dream, so said Vincent van Gogh, whose emotionally in charge paintings, spontaneous, vivid colors, broad oil brush strokes, all conjure up the vitality of nature. Nandalal Bush, one of the pioneers of modern Indian art, found motivation in the idyllic rural surroundings of Shantiniketan and the many facets of nuances, of villages, and agrarian life. <clears throat> Co-founder of the analytical cubist uh, movement, Pablo Picasso's works are imbued with a sense of an somber outlook of life and reality. Similarity can be found in Jamini Roy, who captured the essence of simplicity embodied in the life of folk people. The prolific painter, Porish Maiti, is fascinated with the human element, people and places, and his works have been enriched by his travels all over the globe, and stories garnered along the way. His warm, vibrant poems are replete with sensuousness. Architecture can be termed as a summation of art and technology. The contextual application of the sensory of art, nature of art, falling out of a Frank Lloyd Wright, a timeless monument, is organic architecture of its best. Kalatrova has defined his style as bridging the division between structural engineering and architecture. He continues the tradition of Spanish modernist engineering through a personal style and derives from numerous studies of the human body, a natural world. Conceptual impressions for resort hotels in Nepal reveal my intense love for natural surroundings and the intrinsic relationship between man and his habitat, a relationship which need to be respected and revered. <clears throat> the Salation Chapel in Sonada near Darjeeling also portrays the reference to the hilly landscape. This building strikes a very close relationship to its natural setting. Truly, nature is by far the richest source of inspiration and knowledge that we have. The Don Bosco Church at in Kalyani also draws inspiration from a cluster of hills. Strong geometry in its purest form, a series of triangular facades in varying heights terminated by a barrel vault at the apex with natural light. The manager's bungalow for a tea estate in Tripura is a perfect blend of architecture within the natural surroundings. Nestled within the lush tea gardens, the contemporary yet contextual bungalow is again inspired by the hilly backdrop and verdant settings. The part woman girls Hostel in Shantaniketan, with its earthly ochre hues, blends perfectly with the rural ambience and campus environment. The hostel has been designed as a cluster of brick built huts around two courtyards, shaded by existing trees, a balance of harmony. The proposal of the Calcutta Stock Exchange takes its cue from the canal flowing through the site. Water is another aspect of nature which is intensely inspiring. The adoption of the tree-like patterns for constructing architectural structures 
have been varied through the ages based on knowledge and available technologies. The Assam capital complex takes its cue from the top heavy yet perfectly balanced banyan tree. <clears throat> the convention center in Kolkata again takes its inspiration from the magnanimity of the tree. Its monumental form is softened through the use of a cascading waterfall in the front of the building, providing scale, balance, and harmony. This private residence in Shiliguri is another example of the theme of architecture being a response to its context. The bungalow has an abstract form with angular elements, and the color palette harmonies beautifully with the surrounding hilly context. The softening and balancing properties of nature are evident in this private residence in Kolkata, where a duplex apartment has been endowed almost with the ambience of a bungalow through the vast use of foliage and landscaping in the terrace garden. Babylon Apartments, a futuristic design for its time, with floor setbacks and protrusions on different locations, creating a vision of vertical gardens in an otherwise constricted site with life and nature, inspiring, evolving, referring to architecture. Thank you. <laughs>